While the Americans were recruiting astronauts, the Soviets continued to rack up firsts in space. In 1963, they launched Valentina Tereshkova, their first female cosmonaut. She flew 48 orbits. At the Lovelace Clinic in New Mexico, a top secret program was underway to recruit a core of female astronauts. They were dubbed the Mercury 13. Well, they did extraordinarily well in the tests, and they surpassed the men in some ways. And uh, that was a function of their uh, different body type. And they wound up with uh, 20 or so ladies that were all suitable candidates. And of those uh, 20 or 24 that took the tests, 13 were found to be adequate and appropriate candidates for the space program. It didn't happen because they were 20 years ahead of their time. The program never received any kind of encouragement from NASA. In fact, uh, active steps were taken to quash it. And so the ladies, ladies who had been given tremendous stimulation and they were all very excited about being astronauts and everybody at Lovelace thought they were gonna be astronauts were suddenly told that they couldn't be. Jerry Cobb and her team were ready and eager to fly when the program was suddenly halted. No explanation was ever given to them, although the orders apparently came from the highest level. I've seen a copy of a memo from Vice President Lyndon Johnson in which he uh, was requiring uh, James Webb to look into the suitability of women as candidates for space. And in Lyndon Johnson's handwriting across the bottom, instead of a signature, was the phrase, let's put a stop to this now. And that apparently was the death knell of the Mercury 13's aspirations to go into space. Most of them never knew about this till years later, but, and they never gave up. To this day, they uh, still are looking for a ride. They wanna go in space. There's no difference in capability of, of pilots, whether women or men. But the problem was there were no women with experience in research and development. So you pick the guys with experience in research and developments, and that, that's just a smart way of doing it. Valentina Tereshkova would be the last woman in space until Sally Ride boarded an American space shuttle two decades later. By the end of 1963, the total number of astronauts had risen to 30. They'd all be vying for the 20 available seats on Gemini. <laughs>